Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Maida over here and in today's tutorial in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I Customize fix and install this glueless unit from I like hair so I'm gonna try to give you guys a little unboxing of this hair I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I fix the lace so it can look like this uh-huh and I'm also gonna show you guys how I install my glueless wigs so they can look natural they can be practical for everyday use I'll try to make it as easy as possible so you guys can have a different option this here is perfect for an everyday use so if you're one of those girls that wants to still look like a body every day but still want to be comfortable or you just don't like the whole you know wearing a wig all day long or going to bed with your wig or you just don't have time in the morning to get ready for work or your daily activities these hair is perfect so if you're interested to know more about this hair and how I install the glueless wig so it can look like this keep on watching okay guys this is the box the hair came in. I love this packaging. It's giving me Hermes vibes and I live for it. The hair, it's a 16 inches body wave closure wig. It's a 5x5 closure and the hair is in the color natural black. This install is glueless, so the wig came with pins on the sides, middle, and the back of the hair, as well as an elastic band for extra hold. It also brought um, tweezers, a shower cap, clips, a comb, and a small brush, and a little clear cosmetic bag, which I thought it was really cute for them to add that. To start off, I decided to work on the lace a little bit because because the hair it's gonna be a glueless install. I wanted to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. I went ahead and I bleached the knots and I accidentally over bleached my knots, which is pretty common happens to me all the time. And but I know how to fix it with some dark brown hair dye. The damage on the hair wasn't that bad, but yeah, you guys can see how over bleached it is right here. Um, and before before I started um, fixing the over bleached damage, I went ahead and I plugged the hair just a little bit because I feel like the hair needed that plugging. When fixing the hair, though, you gotta be you gotta be careful because you don't want to get the hair dye on your lace. So you want to work in very small sections at a time. This is how good the hair looked after fixing it. I'm so happy. So, so happy. Then I went ahead and I cut the lace. To cut the 
least I first cut the sides, the thick sides, to avoid that bulky end, you know, in the corner of the closure. And then I used some eyebrow razors to cut the excess lace at the front. And I used some powder to make it look as natural as possible. I also went ahead and I styled the wig. I didn't go into details here because I'm just curling the hair and you know, fixing a little bit of anything. Um, yeah, I just gave it some curls and I fixed the hair, the hairline with some concealer. And really like that's all I had to do with this hair. The hair is so beautiful, it's so soft in the touch. Like you guys can literally see how soft it is through the camera. And yeah, I'm just like so happy. I love it so much. I'm actually wearing it right now and I really cannot stop running my fingers through the hair. You know, this is it. It's a glueless, comfortable, and practical wig that anybody should be able to pull out and rock every single day, no matter where you're going. This hair, it's amazing. And really, you don't need that much experience to be able to install this amazing, beautiful hair. But yeah, this is everything for the video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you love this hair or you would like to try it out, I definitely did leave some information in the description box. There's links and there's more details about the hair. So check it out and see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you love this kind of content. So yeah, see you guys on my next video. Bye! Mwah.